I accidentally became a meme, and this is that story. My name is David DeVore, but you may know me as David After Dentist. Is this real life? My name is also David DeVore, and I'm the dad who recorded the video. This all started in 2008. My life was pretty normal, you know, just school, sports, friends, seven-year-old things. The reason David had to have the surgery was because he had a condition called hyperdontia, which is just an extra tooth. It's more common than you think. David's was up in this general area, but it was headed toward his sinus cavity and that was gonna cause uh, big problems in his teen years. I was pretty nervous because I had never had surgery before. Growing up, I loved watching those crazy ER horror stories, so that probably didn't help. The reason I wanted to record is to be able to show David afterwards, you know, his anxiety before and after and how it wasn't so bad. Are you nervous? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You know, this surgery was not your typical wisdom tooth uh, being removed. Just the regular laughing gas or nitrous oxide was not gonna cut it. So they had to use ketamine. And I remember them telling me to count backwards from 10. I remember thinking, there's no way I'm not gonna make it to one, and then I don't remember getting past eight. They took me back into the procedure room, and you could just tell David was, uh, he was out of it. I've seen drunk people, and that was pretty, <laughs> he was like, hey, Poppy, but he kept pointing at three people. You know, I love you, Poppy, I love you, Poppy, I love you, Poppy. I remember being really blurry, and they were just holding, carrying me into the car and being lifted up. You know, ketamine is an incredibly strong uh, anesthetic. I'm okay. It has side effects. I feel funny. You know, double vision. You have four eyes. You know, deep existential experiences. Is this real life? Why is this happening to me? It's okay, bud. Stay in your seat. I think he just finally just accepted it that this was his life right now. After the surgery, I basically got to go home and watch Star Wars and eat ice cream. It was a pretty good day after the first part. I knew I had captured something and when we all saw it, we're just dying, laughing, rolling on the floor, literally. I didn't post the video right away, it was actually a year later. Posting the video was really just more out of convenience to be able to share it more easily with family and friends. I just wasn't thinking anybody was gonna see it, so why not just make it public? Posted it on a late Friday night, kind of forgot about it, played golf uh, before the Super Bowl, and then we kind of started checking it in on Sunday, and we had 10,000 views, and we're like, okay, what's going on? By the following Wednesday, we were up to uh, somewhere between three and four million. Then it just started going crazy. It was a week and we were in New York for the Today Show already. Doing interviews, TV shows, the word meme had like just been coined. I just didn't think much past. A lot of people thought the video was funny and they wanted to talk to me about it. Back in the early YouTube days, the ads partner program was like, there wasn't any communication from YouTube. It was just a little button to click on the side. And I didn't know what that was. Another YouTuber reached out to me and he basically said, dude, you gotta click that. It's a good thing. And so I did, but waiting a week probably cost me uh, maybe $10,000. My life after was oddly pretty normal. Kind of like Disaster Girl, I kind of have a double life. Every once in a while, I'm asked to be David After Dennis for a few minutes. I have not done any drugs since then. That was definitely enough drugs for me. Reality is hard enough. I don't want to try and tackle another dimension of understanding the world. All in all, David After Dentist has been a blessing, and I think my teeth look great. Thank you.